All right, good morning or afternoon, I guess, everyone. Um, we are going to, I'm going to try the Screencastify is what it's called, it's a little Google app, so that we can do lecture notes too. Only limitation to this is they're five minutes, five minutes, so you're going to have one, most likely two parts per slide deck. Um, I did add in notes too to Google Classroom, so if I do go too fast for you, that's okay. Um, I'm just trying to go over the highlights, so especially the ones that we already did in class, I'm going to kind of fly through those real quick. Okay, so we're going to go back over. Let me see if I can present this. All right, so it is letting me present. Good. So um, we're going to go over the slides we did on Friday before you guys, Friday, haha, <laughs> on Thursday before y'all left. And then we are going to push through to the new slide deck. At the end, guys, you have an assessment that goes with it. It's just going to be six questions for today. Let's just try to get this and see how this works. All right. So going, we already talked about this. This is the scramble to Africa. So if you guys remember from Thursday, um, Africa before the Europeans came in was an incredibly diverse continent, all right? Huge empires, tiny villages, tons of languages. And although the Europeans had contact as early as 1450, they were kept out by African armies and some other uh, reasons as well. Okay, so when we look at when this kind of all started to snowball is in late 1880, Europeans, they only controlled about 10% of the land, all right, and they really couldn't get into the interior of Africa until the steamboat. I told you guys this in class, and I'm going to say it again, the steamboat is the reasons the Europeans were able to get into the interior of Africa. Remember that for your test, all right? The first people in are really just missionaries and explorers, all right? They're going in to convert people to Christianity or to discover new things or to find gold and other treasures, all right? So uh, I'm going to get back to these maps and, oh, good. Oh, look at I have a pointer. Okay, so remember when we talked about this, Africa initially in like 1880, there was Europeans in here, but a ton of different countries. Um, and really they could not maintain tr uh, control. Once the steamboat, once other technology comes in, as you can see, not even, uh, that is t like 33 years later, all right? The entirety of Africa is controlled by a very small portion of Europe, all right? So what is it? What is it that actually gets the Europeans the advantage that they're able to start taking over this continent? Well, it is the Maxim gun, railroads, steamships, and a cure for malaria. That is the list. So the Maxim gun, remember, is a machine gun. All right, this allows for the Europeans to um, effectively take care of African armies. I will tell you, you cannot fight a machine gun without machine guns or artillery or something else that can actually go with that. Uh, arrows and spears are just not going to do it. Railroads. Although railroads are not as important as the steamship, I will tell you they still played a key role in uh, the conquest of Africa. So railroads were used for logistics, just like in the Industrial Revolution, just like we talked about last chapter. Railroads were needed for uh, making the logistic movement of materials and people further and further interior. And then steamships, I've already talked about it. This allowed them to get on rivers and then move up to uh, the interior of Africa further than they could ever get before. And then finally, by getting a uh, cure for malaria or finding a cure for malaria, this it helped the Europeans get further in as Europeans definitely did not have any immunity towards malaria prior to coming there. All right. But it's not just the Europeans. The Europeans are not the only reason that uh, they were able to conquer Africa. A lot of internal factors happened in the African continent as well that made it easier for the Europeans to go ahead and conquer them. So first, you have a variety of cultures and languages. All right, They could not unify because of this. Because if you can't speak the same language or you can't speak a common language, this doesn't allow for the Europeans are, sorry, the Africans to unite and come into this unified front. The other thing is this low level of technology. They did not industrialize at the same pace. So of course you have to understand that